happened, and I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it right now. I can't handle it more now. That's Alex Jones, founder and host of InfoWars, the internet's premier source for conspiracy theories and this tissue box that doubles as a gun holder. Oh, yeah. If you've ever heard someone from your high school yell 9-11 was an inside job, you can thank Alex Jones for that. I'm a pioneer. I'm an explorer. My heart's big. It's got hot blood going through it fast. And, oh, yeah, he has friends in high places. I just want to finish by saying your reputation's amazing. I will not let you down. You will be very, very uh, impressed, I hope. But Jones worked his way up the conspiracy ladder and today hosts a syndicated show titled The Alex Jones Show, where he espouses conspiracy theories that stretch from Joan Rivers being murdered by Michelle Obama to this. I've been told this by high up folks. They say, listen, Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur. I never said this because the media will go crazy with it, but I've, I've talked to people that are in protective details. I mean, they're scared of her, and they say, listen, she's a frickin' demon and she stinks, and so does Obama, and I go, like, what? Sulfur. President Obama denies being a demon. There, there's a, a guy on the radio who apparently Trump's on his show frequently. He said, me and Hillary are demons. <laughs> said we smell like sulfur. Ain't that something? Hillary Clinton has yet to comment. After Infowars.com launched in 1999, he began to build his empire of lies and bogus dietary supplements. Infowars helped spread the Pizzagate scandal in post headlines like Obama caught running ISIS and why Obama brought Ebola to US exposed. Although that is clearly million dollar content, this isn't where the money is. Most of his income comes from selling dietary supplements and other junk on the site's store. This is the best toothpaste out there. The toothpaste may be fluoride-free, but some products have been found to have high levels of lead in them. 